In Mozambique, Africa, there's a place called Gorongosa Park. In the park, scientists have found never-before-known species of insects and mammals. Those animals may contain a substance that could cure an uncured disease or help the military with defense or weapons. And it can even just help us find out a little bit more about our universe. One time, a new species helped us was when the Duvalius abyssinus was found. A Duvalius abyssinus is a beetle that was found in the longest cave in the world, Cubera veronia. It helped because we got to find out about how animals can evolve and adapt to harsh conditions. Creatures were found such as insects, including mantises, ants, grasshoppers, crickets, and cicadas, along with spiders, snakes, bats, toads, frogs, shrews, centipedes, and scorpions. Super long antennae and small eyes are common for most cave fauna. The fauna need the antennae and they don't need the big eyes because it's so dark in the cave that their main sense is touch. On their antennae, they have feelers and on a new species of cave dwellers that scientists recently found share this long antennae and small eyes. There are no plants in the cave, which makes it totally different from the outside ecosystem, says Peter Nazgrecki, a Polish-born entomologist, photographer, and author who currently teaches at Harvard University. Bat guano, or fetus, feeds the whole cave and helps it thrive. Crickets feed on guano, whip scorpions and frogs eat crickets, while civets and mongooses eat those. The animals owe a lot to bats, which are a part of a group of animals called indicator species. They indicate how healthy the ecosystem is. In the video, Gorn Goes a Park, Rebirth of Paradise, Nazcrecki stated that a scarce amount of water wouldn't show in elephant populations for about a year, but with the frogs, you would notice it immediately. Frogs give a more immediate picture of the health of an environment, so they are a type of indicator species. Another indicator species is polar bears and hyenas, which they also found in the park. Why are these animals important? Maybe science has, and development of technology or medicine could, be, could benefit. In the blood of the new animals, there could be a substance that cures Alzheimer's disease or cancer or any other uncured disease. In the blood of those animals, there could be a cure. Or maybe you have lost a loved one in the military, army, navy, air force, or coast guard. Think. If scientists carefully inspected those animals, they could possibly create a super safe, lightweight sort of armor that could prevent anyone else from going through what you went through. The annual average of new species found is about 15,000 per year, and they are usually endangered species, so they are added to the endangered species list. In the park, they counted more than 1,200 new species, including 182 birds, 54 mammals, 47 reptiles, 33 frogs, over 100 ants, and 32 plants. We most often find them in extreme environments, such as caves, oceans, rainforests, and deserts. Thank you, thank you for taking the time to listen. Bye.